hey what's going on everybody it's been a while since I've done a video um, I'm over here at my sister's house on the uh, LSU York affinity system I came over here a couple days ago on a well about a week ago on a on a weekend and I found the uh, unit didn't hardly have any refrigerant in it this is an R22 system you can see right there that's with the system off so that's never a good sign um, and I just I didn't have any R22 on me that day to get her going and ever since then it's been cool and she hasn't needed air well it's starting to warm up here in Louisiana so I figured I'd come over here and give her some air today um, Zach I kind of stole your idea man uh, sorry about that uh, my dad gave me the S-Bands back. He said he just wasn't using them and they were, you know, going to waste. And he said if he needed them, he'd get them, but whatever. But so, Zach, I copied your idea, man. I'm going to use the S-Bands for R22 and the Testos for 410A. And I just went and bought brand new hoses, ball valves and everything. But, uh, like I said, the system's leaking and I got a pretty good idea where it's at. You can see right here how greasy all that let and see how it doesn't look greasy right up here by my hand i actually didn't install this unit this unit was installed before i went in business for myself when my dad was still with his other partner at that other business and uh and i actually didn't install it the, the guys he had working for him did i was off doing something else so it, it looks like that one of them boys left a one of these solder joints leaking somewhere so we're going to put some nitrogen on the system and uh and see where and pinpoint this thing and get it fixed so uh let me get my nitrogen tank hooked up and, and we'll get started all right well i took the suction line service cap off and you can see there's it's bubbling in there pretty good so i don't know if that's where this all this grease is coming from or if one of these solder joints is actually leaking but you can see it's it's, it's bubbling in there so I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to get rid of the charge and I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to put a nitrogen test on the whole system and just, you know, that way we can find everything. And if that's what this problem is, we'll attack that with some Nylog. So let, let, let me get everything hooked up. Okay, I've got all the charge removed out of the system. I've got my nitrogen tank hooked up, so I'm going to go ahead and put some pressure in there and, uh, I'm anxious to see where this leak is. I'm really thinking it's going to be on that service valve because I think a, a hole in one of the copper, to, we'd have lost all the refrigerant. We didn't lose it all. I think it was just seeping out of there. But let's uh, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. Okay, I've got 149.8 pounds of nitrogen, and I think it's going to be this damn suction valve the whole time because you see, if I, I'm I, what happened is the guy that had put this in that was working for my dad probably didn't use the damn heat sink when he uh, installed this thing. Cause see if I if I play with it, see it's not leaking. But see now you get I don't know if y'all can hear that. Now it's leaking. See, I hope y'all can hear that. Now it's leaking. There you go. Now you can hear it real good. But if I see boom, there. Now it stopped. So I'm thinking that's where the whole problem was because none of these solder joints are leaking. And what I'm going to do real quick, uh, matter of fact, I got it right here. I am going to attack that valve real good with some nylog right here. This good stuff right here that Mr. Zach turned me on to. This is R22, so we're going to use the red. I can still see just a few bubbles in there, so we're going to hit that valve real good with some uh, 
with some um, Nylog and then I'm gonna pressure it back up probably to about 200 pounds of nitrogen and then I'm gonna go get me something to eat uh, with my wife I'm gonna go have lunch with my wife and if I get back over here and we're still holding I'm gonna call it good so uh, let me attack this with some Nylog real quick y'all give me just a second I just love this stuff I like the red one much better than the blue one but of course you cannot use the red one on 410A so you gotta do what you gotta do but this red stuff here is great and see yep look 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 you see it, how it bubbled there that valve is still leaking and that's uh I hope y'all caught that bubble I, I couldn't see if y'all did or not but uh that that's what it's gonna be it's it's this damn valve that had me the whole time so I got plenty of nylog on there oh yeah look at those bubbles we're gonna tighten this bit look at that look at that oh yeah let me get my big wrench here let me find my Okay, I'll put plenty of torque on that, so I'm going to go ahead and attack that liquid line one with it, too. I mean, why not, you know, while we're here, so um, I'm going to have to take this off to do it. Okay, let me attack that liquid line and pressure back up and go get something to eat and see how it holds. Okay, I have a, I've, I've attacked both service caps on the liquid and the suction line with Nylog. I've got 200.6 pounds of nitrogen on the system, and it is 142. So I'm gonna go have lunch with my lovely wife, and if it we're still holding right there. When I get back, I'm going to call this fixed, and I'm going to pump a vacuum on it, and we'll charge it up. Okay, we're back on the job, and it's been about exactly 40 minutes, and it looks like we have even risen a taste. We were at 200.6, now we're up to 201.5, so I'm I'm going to call this I'm going to call this one fixed. Um, I mean, that's a good sign that nitrogen has even risen a little bit. So, uh, I mean, I'm going to call this one fixed. I think we're good to go. I'll go ahead and give you all the model number of this unit. A lot of people ask me to. It's a uh, CMA4048-11A, and it's from uh, the serial numbers kind of wore off. Let me see if I can... You can kind of see there W zero. I think that's a G and then a five. That zero five tells me with Yark equipment that this is an 05 model unit. I got it. I didn't think it had been that long, but I guess it has been. But um I'm gonna go climb in the back of my truck over there and grab my vacuum pump. And we're going to put a vacuum on this thing and charge it up and we'll be done. All right, I've got all the nitrogen out. Got the vacuum pump hooked up. I'm going to crank it up and let her warm up there for a minute. And here we go. Start coming down into a vacuum. Like I said, it's not the way I prefer to do it, you know. I wish I had my Appions, but I took them out to clean them and, you know, make sure they didn't have no dirt in them and blew them out with nitrogen and all that good stuff. And did the same thing with my uh, Yellow Jacket T manifold. Cleaned it out and left it at home. Never put it back on the truck. And like I said, I don't live terribly far away from her. 
Uh, I live about 10 minutes up the road, I guess, maybe a little further. And uh, But since it's R22, I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. Now, if it, if it was 410A, I'd probably make the trip home and, well, I would make the trip home and go get them if, if it was that. But this will do for, uh, for R22, I'll take it like this. So we're going to let that... Uh, let that pump do its thing and and I'm gonna go get my Freon tank and and uh, my my uh, my field piece wireless scale so let me get that set up and then after the vacuums over we'll charge her up all right guys vacuums done we're gonna set the charge as you can see right there let that camera focus we're looking for a factory charge of seven pounds four ounces <coughs> We got a fresh, <clears throat> brand spanking new, never been used before, $400 jug of R22. Plum ass ridiculous. I don't know if I've ever showed y'all my scale before, guys. There it is. It's the field piece wireless scale. There's the scale and there's the remote. And uh, we got 35 pounds, full fresh jug, and we're going to zero her out. Well, first of all, we're going to bleed our hoses. There we go. Now we'll zero her out. And we will let in seven pounds and four ounces. And there she goes. All right, seven pounds, four ounces later and she's alive and running. These units are very quiet. They're good running units. This is when uh, when York actually had something here. All right, I went ahead and whipped out the SRH2, even though I've got the field P, uh, the, I'm sorry, the S-Man out. It's just, the SRH2 is just so easy and convenient, and uh, I just went ahead and used it. It says we need a target superheat of 14.8. Uh, I had a, uh, shoot, uh, 56 wet bulb, I believe, because it is kind of cool out here. And uh, uh, I want to say a 64 dry bulb, and where it's telling me we need 14.8, and of course that's a plus or minus five on R22. So we're gonna add some charge here, and uh, hopefully I can get this thing where it needs to be. All right, we've added just a little over a pound of refrigerant, and as you can see, things are starting to look much better. Uh, there's kind of a glare there. The, the suction pressure is coming up. My superheat's coming down, so that that's that's good. I, I, that I'm, I'm glad to see that. So uh, you know, if I can get it, you know, we're like I said, we're looking for 14.8. So if I can get 20, 19, you know, I'm I'm gonna let it go because, like I said, it's only 64 degrees out here. So, but as you can see, it, it, it's it's coming around. It, it's it's coming around. So. Uh, I'm gonna hang with it for a few more minutes, guys. All right, guys, it looks like our final pressures are gonna be a 52 on suction with a 19.5 coming and still, you know, coming down a little bit on the superheat and a 135 head with about seven and a half degrees of subcooling. Uh, superheat is still falling down to 18, which is okay. We, you know, we're looking for 14.8. And it can uh, get that low, or it can get as low as uh, what would it be? Uh, about nine. So we're looking good. Um, I'm gonna call this one a success. And you know, it, she'll call me if it quits, and I'll have to come back tomorrow, you know, and recheck it if you know if if it gets there. But I think we're gonna be okay. I really do. And uh, I'm sorry I hadn't put up a video in a while, guys. Um. I'm going to try to start doing them more often, and uh, I appreciate y'all, everybody out there watching my videos, and uh, I'm going to end this one with, uh, I want to tell all my uh, good friends, my HVAC brothers here on YouTube, that I've, I've met some wonderful friends on here, and I want to wish all of y'all a very Merry Christmas. Zach, uh, Fritz, Dallas, um, Nick, Ralph, Eddie. Um, Everybody, if I didn't name your name, I'm sorry. But, um, you know, all my good friends I've met here on YouTube, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, 
that ought to be about it for this one, guys. So y'all, y'all take care. Thanks for watching, and y'all all have a very merry Christmas.